this is Minion 90 for Productive Gamers, and we're back with another episode on the Visual Basic Operating System. Now, this is the login screen, I think it was like this before, um, and on the back here this is the uh, readme file that will beca uh, become distributed with the uh, application, the Hollow OS, and I've got a change log on there of all the latest updates and uh, the changes between each update of what extra things there were. Okay, so we're going to hop straight in and sign in as usual and log in. Now, most of this on the whole is pretty much the same. Um, there are a few little differences that I'll show and um, yeah, so if you, uh, if you look up here uh, is a clock. Now I know my uh, cursor doesn't appear on the thing so you'll just have to look. Top left hand corner is a clock that tells the actual time and that's next to the calendar which is still here. Over this side we have a little sound icon. That doesn't do anything yet. I was trying to create like a sort of volume mixer but um, at the time it was quite difficult and um, it kept breaking the application so I had to get rid of it. So other than that I'm just going to go through a quick bug fix. You may see when I have notes up, for some reason I have no idea why, um, this, uh, the exit um, button doesn't actually work. On the rest of them it does. So I had to implement a way that you could uh, get out of the application. So you just hit the exit there and then it will uh, turn off. I'll try and fix that but I don't really know what the problem is. Okay, other than that we revamped the Hollow Media media player thing just at the top. Um, there is... oh, the system tab. Now this was here before and I'll probably change the little um, graphic kick. It doesn't seem to fit in the box completely. But we have two buttons here. And the whole... Um, you might see the whole sort of OS is quite like... Um, I wouldn't say square, but it's got like some sort of like harsh lines I guess and I'm trying to keep that going here so we got that is shut down the shutdown button and this is the lock screen so if we just hit that the operating system is now locked and you can from here you can close it or restore it as normal and then that will pull up the desktop again okay so the rest of the applications are pretty much the same except this new settings tab. Now this this is a feature that I've been trying to implement for so long but I never could. I just found it too difficult. But I've done it now and you, it's changeable backgrounds. You can see it covers the entire stretch of the screen. Oh and by the way I'm recording this full screen now so um, this will fit any computer. It doesn't matter what uh, size it is because everything will fit um, in the right place, and I've got a widescreen uh, computer, so it's, that's why these applications are all sort of clumped over the one side. I need to anchor them into various points on the screen and to become bigger if you have a bigger screen. So uh, you might notice that this is the Mac OS X um, screen, but it's, these are just placeholders until uh, I actually really need to design my own. So um, yeah. All of the applications are pretty much the same. The help uh, tab I got rid of and left it. I haven't finished this yet because this is going to be my uh, interactive um, advice like service without going into too much detail. And yeah, I was hoping to have a volume mixer and a wireless sort of network uh, thing. And they're both possible, but they're quite difficult. And I'm not sure if my version of um, Visual Studio can actually handle that which is a bit of a shame, but it should work, hopefully, and I'll try and do a bit more for the next sort of uh, little while. All the other applications are on the whole the same. you still got this. I might make this sort of transparent because you don't really... I wouldn't have thought that you'd want the whole screen captured thing on the screen because then it's always going to be, like, in the middle at, at this point. So I might make it um, almost completely transparent so that um, it won't really interrupt with any picture you want to take. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. I can hit that. And guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like this. And it says alpha release. I think 1.5 will go into beta, and I'll do a test. I'll release it. I've got a couple of friends that, I need, uh, that I'm going to uh, send a copy to. 
and then it will be fully launched in probably a few weeks. Um, I don't know when. I can't put a release date on it yet because there's more. I'm not going to release it until I've done everything I, I need and everything I want to. Um, because I don't want to leave like a half finished job. So yeah, thanks guys and we will see you all in the next episode.